In today's tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a robe simulation in Blender. So this is not a dress, this is a robe. So something that they would have worn in the ancient world. I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. It's just really basic cloth stuff in Blender. I'll even be showing you where you can get this free character with a bit of motion capture. So we don't have to do any animation. It's just something we import into Blender and then we have a little bit of fun. We have the cloth simulation here. You can see the interaction over here is intersecting a little bit, but if you were to up the quality samples, um, that should result as issues. I'm just keeping it basic because this is after all, just a quick tutorial. So let's jump into it and I hope you guys enjoy. So you're gonna to wanna to go to the internet. If you don't already have an Adobe Mixamo account, you can create a free account, it doesn't cost you anything. So it's just adobemixamo.com. And once you're signed in, you're gonna go over to the characters and there is a whole bunch to choose from. Because we are going with a cloth simulation here, I don't really want anything in the way. So I'm just gonna go here with the mannequin, which I have already selected. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to animations. And over here, you get a whole bunch of animations to pick from. I'm just gonna go with the first one that I see here, which is shoved reaction with um, spin. You guys can pick whatever you want to. This is just give us a cool way of looking at our cloth simulation. Um, so here you can see it's now loaded into the chosen character from before. You're going to click on download and you can go to frames per second. Let's make it 24. That's what Blender works with. And then FBX, just leave it at that and rest we can leave as it is. And then you need to click download. So my FBX is now done downloading. I'm just going to go to my downloads folder. I'm going to drag that onto my desktop. So that's just an FBX file. And I'm going to jump inside of Blender. Inside of Blender, let's go to File, and we're gonna to go to Import. You're gonna to go to the FBX option, click on that. In my case, I placed that on my desktop, so I'm just gonna click on it. It says here, Shoved Reaction. Yours will be named whatever animation you chose, so I'm gonna click on that, go Import FBX, and here we have it. We now have a character with a rig here, and if you actually hit the space bar, you're gonna see it has an animation. So one thing I am gonna do, I'm gonna take this, um, rig and I'm just going to scale it up. Okay, so I'm scaling it up uh, about this much. You can see the cube here for reference. Maybe I'll go a little bit smaller, something like this. But the main thing you want to do is if you scaled it, select a character, go control A and just apply that scale. Okay, because we're doing a cloth simulation. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to select these objects here. I'm just going to delete them. So um, the cube, the light and the camera. And then we're going to go into my front orthographic view. You can do the same. Go over to frame one. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to select this rig here. And we want it to start in a T pose. So let's just go into our pose mode. And with everything here selected, all of these bones, we're going to go Alt G, Alt R, Alt S. So that'll just reset any possible transforms. And then in here, we're just going to select all of these while all of these bones are active. We're going to select all of these keyframes. We're going to go G and just slide them up to about frame 20. And then we're going to come here in frame one and we're going to go Alt G, Alt R, Alt S. So we've just reset it all and we're going to go I and we're going to go give it a location and a rotation. So this is what's going to happen now if we hit the space bar. Um, it's going to look weird at first, but if you do eventually animate this, you can just start rendering at frame 20 so you don't see this bit over here. So there we have that. And let's come and drag our end frame here down to 130. So let's just minimize this. Let's go over back into object mode and let's go into our front view where we have our pose here, our T pose. I'm just gonna select the rig and press M. I'm gonna go new collection, go okay. And I'm just gonna hide that collection. So now we have a fresh character here in the T pose with an animation. And now we're gonna go shift A, we're gonna add in a plane. I'm gonna tab into edit mode and go RX90 and we're gonna hit enter. We're then gonna go into our right orthographic view and we're gonna go G to move it up, like so. Then we're gonna go into our front view and then what we're gonna do is gonna go S to scale it about this much. And let's now um, go over here and enable, in fact, let's just actually give this a mirror modifier. So we're gonna to go to our modifiers, give it a mirror modifier, select these verts here and go G, X, move them over. This is enable clipping and then go G, X and bring them back together and now they're fused together like so. So now at this point, we can grab these two bottom verts and we can move them up a bit. And uh, let's grab these two here and let's move them down about here. We're gonna rotate them slightly and we're gonna go E to extrude like so. 
And then what we're going to do, we're going to grab this vertex here. We're going to move it to about here and maybe move this one down. We want it just angled like this. So this is where the arm's going to be. We'll grab this one here, bring it down a bit maybe. And now let's select these two bottom verts. I'm going to go E to extrude and let's extrude them down to about here. And this is a robe, so it's not a dress, it's a robe. So it's one piece. Um, in this case, it's being worn by a male subject. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here, Control R, left click twice to add in a loop. Control R and then roll the middle mouse button to add in segments. So now you can see we have these squares. We don't want any like long rectangles. So over here, I'll come in, Control R, add in a loop, double click. And I might just select these verts here, double G just to slide them. The main idea here is just to make these kind of squares on our robe here. We're now going to select these two verts up here in the corner. Let's just maybe rotate them like this, scale them a bit. We're gonna go E to extrude them up like this. Then we're gonna go Control R to add in the loop here. Control R, double click, add in one here. And let's go Control R, add one in here, double click. And I might just add in a few here. So I'm just going Control R, double clicking. Okay, there we go, that's looking better. Might add one more in here. And then we're gonna go A to select everything. We're gonna right click and we're gonna go subdivide. We're now gonna go E to extrude. I'm gonna extrude this all the way to the back, like so. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to our face select here. And we're gonna select these faces in the inside here. Going all the way up to here, we're gonna go X and delete those faces. And then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna select these ones where the arm is. Over here, we're gonna go X and let's delete those faces. And then we're gonna select these faces over here and all of these faces going down like so. And we're gonna go X, but we're gonna go only faces. So that's gonna leave us with the edges. And we're gonna come down here and select these bottom faces and go X. And uh, let's go faces. Okay, um, so you can see here we're missing an edge at the bottom. So let's just go to vertex select. Let's just select this vertex and hold and shift select this vertex and then press F just to add an, an edge. Okay, so we now have that done. We're gonna tab out. Let's select our character mesh. Let's go over to our modifiers or our um, physics properties and let's give it a collision. So that'll tell the cloth to react with this. And also let's just go to our modifiers Let's just make sure the armature is on top and the collision is at the bottom. That order is important. Then let's select the robe here and let's go over to our physics. Let's give this a cloth. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down all the way to the collision. We're gonna give it self collision so it interacts with itself. And then we're gonna go over to the shape over here. We're gonna click on that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and enable sewing. And if you were to now go to frame one and hit the space bar, you're gonna see this now simulates like this. But if it's not working quite right, you might have to come here and give this max sewing force a force. So um, it might be something like five. So then it closes the gaps a little bit better. So I'll try five, hit it again. So now that I've given, given it a value, it's too weak. So let's go back to frame one and let's just with the max sewing force bump that up to 30. And in frame one, let's hit the space bar. And now we can see that is nice and strong like that. Um, while you add it as well, you can right click and just go shade smooth and that should look a lot, a lot nicer. So now you can see we have a simple robe over here. Now, what can we do to make this look a little bit less like a dress and more like a robe? Because we we're not going for a dress here. So one thing we can do is tab into edit mode and we can select these edges here Okay, so these ones right over here where the arm is, all the way down. You can see these ones don't have any of the edges running in the middle, like that. And we can now go to our front view and we can go E to extrude them, S, X, zero and flatten them. And what we can do now is we can go E to extrude over to here. And then we can go Control R and roll in some loops, double click. And let's just select this edge here and go control plus just to select the whole thing up to here. So we only have this row of faces in the middle. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna go shift D Y and move it back to here. And now what we can do is we can select these edges here and then holding and shift, just select these ones running along here. 
So it's the same number of edges. We're gonna go Control E and go Bridge Edge Loops. And we have this normal issue, so we're gonna go A to select everything. And we're gonna go Alt N, and we're just gonna go Recalculate Outside. So now it's fixed that normal issue. And what we're gonna do now is just go into your front view, go C, and I'm just using this selection tool just to select these verts in wireframe. And I'm gonna go Control E, and I'm gonna go Bridge Edge Loops. And then I'm gonna do the same thing here at the front, at the bottom here. Just like that, I'm gonna go Control E and go Bridge Edge Loops. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make sure all of these are selected, all of these new faces. And I'm gonna go X, I'm gonna go Only Faces. So we're only deleting the faces like that. And what we're gonna do as well, we're gonna just select these faces here. I'm holding in Shift and Alt and just left clicking and switch select them, I'm gonna go X, and we're gonna do only faces, All right? So now if we go out into object mode, we go to frame one, go to our front view, and we hit the space bar, we should see that now has, our, it's now looking more like a robe of the ancient world and less like a dress. And it's really easy to go back to frame one anytime you want, and you could easily come here and select different bits in this case, I'll select these edges here. And you can come and extrude them, rotate them, maybe add in some more segments. And now you can tab back out. And now you have this extra little flare at the back. Um, whatever you want to do to make this look more like a robe, um, you can look up different types of rope, rope designs from the different centuries. You can add different attachments. Um, you might even be able to come over here and just select like an edge around the waist, maybe something, maybe around here. Let's see what we can do. And then go to the back here and select the same ones. And go to your right view maybe, go E to extrude. And then go S, Y and just kind of scale them apart. And then go in here, Control R, add in some loops over here as well. And then let's try that. Maybe we get a little bit more reaction. Okay. So that's looking really, really cool. Um, you can see here with our simulation, obviously one of the issues we're having here is that some of the gaps are not closing. So what you can do in that case is you can go over to your cloth settings and you can bump up the quality under the collision. You can also go over to the shape here where the sewing features are. And you can increase the strength to maybe like 35. And you can also come down here to the self collision and under the distance, make it something like 0 0.005. So it closes that gap. And then if you hit the space bar, you can now see that gap is closed quite a bit. So another thing we can do as well, on top of this, we can give it a subdivision surface modifier. And then on top of that, we can give it a solidify. And over here, we're on the solidify, we can give it a bit of thickness. And that's already making things look a lot better. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna to go to frame one, and I'm just going to give this one last edit. I'm gonna go here, just grab a vertex here at the front. For now, I'll just hide the um, solidify. I'm just gonna bring this down a little bit, and at this point, we can edit it a little bit until you like what you see. So for me, that looks a lot better. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to my cloth now. I'm gonna go down all the way to the cache, and I'm gonna make it 130 frames on the end because that's what I have here. And then I'm just gonna bake this and now it's gonna bake it into my blend file. And here you can see, um, let's go to frame one now. It's all baked in. So after the caching, this is what we have. You can see we have a nice rope simulation. Now it's not perfect, but if you up the quality samples and you do um, a little, you spend a little bit more time with the settings, you can definitely get it a lot more polished. But what I'm gonna do now, um, now that it's baked, I'm just gonna to go to the solidify, turn that back on. And um, yeah, that is a robe. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. I'll be uploading this to my Patreon and uh, I'll see you guys next time for another Blender tutorial.